pickup truck sales take a significant part of the overall automotive market share in the USA. A major part of that is gasoline engines, which provide simplicity, consumption of cheaper fuel, and a good balance of power and torque. It is generally known that diesel has greater fuel efficiency and local engine makers attempted to boost sales with diesel burners in the past. Although coming quite late to the party, the Dutch had a card up their sleeve. Ford and Chevrolet managed to provide themselves a 7.3 IDI and a 6.2 liter Detroit diesel V8 engines respectively, and they sold well. However, the third rival, Dodge, struggled with a small 4 liter non-turbo Mitsubishi engine and had to come up with a solution. At the time, Cummins recently introduced a 6 cylinder 6BT in 1984 for various applications, but primarily agriculture pieces by case. In the following years, Cummins would partner up with Dodge to accommodate the 6BT into the Ram series. Unlike anything else offered previously, this was the first turbocharged diesel engine in this segment. Revealed in 1989, Dodge experienced a massive increase in sales of the Ram. The demand was so high that they had to expand production. The Cummins B series can be broken down into three generations. A 5.9 6BT, also known as a 12 valve, a 5.9 ISB, and a 6.7 ISB engine. Starting with the 6BT, it set the standards for what a duty diesel should be like in a pickup truck. It was massively over engineered, incredibly reliable, and had a massive amount of torque from low revs. The engine was made entirely of cast iron with cylinder liners machined into the block itself. The internals are also very sturdy with a 7 bearing forged crankshaft, forged con rods and aluminum pistons. A single piece shallow head housed a set of 12 solid lifters and pushrod operated valves driven off the crankshaft by a set of timing gears. Compared to competing V8s, this was a straight 6-cylinder, which was easier to work on and had a simple overall design. There was also direct injection in the contrast to the indirect injected rivals. The engine was fueled by a mechanically operated Bosch VE45 rotary injection pump with mechanical fuel injectors. The automotive version of the 6BT always had a turbocharger and a whole set H1C was designed for this purpose. The very first iteration had a rather average power output of 160 horsepower by the torque of 400 pound feet, right from 1600 rpm was an immense thrust for the time. The power was quite a bit down compared to LA and Magnum V8, but the torque difference was noteworthy. In mid-1991, an air-to-air -air intercooler was added, and between 1994 and 1998, the engine received some changes. The turbo was changed for a hull set WH1C, and the rotary pump was swapped for an inline mechanical Bosch P7100. The power was raised to 215 horsepower and 440 pound feet with a manual gearbox. Automatic versions usually had a tiny bit fewer ponies. Halfway through 1998, Cummins introduced a major revision. The cylinder displacement and bore-to-stroke ratio remained unchanged. However, the ISB iteration has got a new 24-valve pushrod head. There is a single valve rocker for two valves. At the same time, a new mechanical pump was installed with an electronic advance, a rotary 
Bosch VP45, which is quite delicate and has a higher fail rate. The difference compared to the 6BT was also a slight weight increase. The new fueling system increased the power potential of the ISB with a factory peak of 235 horsepower and 460 pound-feet. In 2001, the Cummins 5.9 crossed the 500 pound-feet torque figure with an optional high output version having 245 horsepower and 505 pound-feet. Another large modification was made in 2003 when engineers placed a high-pressure common rail system on it. Naturally, it gained more power, having 305 horsepower and later even 325 and 600 pound-feet. It made the power plant noticeably quieter too. An off-road version was called the QSB and was used as a marine, agricultural and construction engine. In 2007, Cummins revealed a follow-up of the old 5.9B series engine. This time they increased the bore and stroke to 107 and 125 mm respectively, adding up to a 6.7 liter engine displacement. Carrying over its previous features like a cast iron design, forged crankshaft and a common rail system, the 6.7 ISB is based on the successful architecture of its predecessor. However, to meet stringent emission standards, some new features were added. The engine is paired with a new variable geometry Hallset HE351V turbocharger with an integrated exhaust brake. There are cooled EGR, SCR and DPF systems on board. Being the largest six-cylinder as a light-duty truck and school bus engine, the 6.7 ISB benefits from the larger displacement. Right away, the power plant was capable of 355 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. These figures vary depending on the used transmission or a particular application, while the exhaust brake was rated at 150 horsepower. The 2011 Ram engine received an 800 pound feet version of it with a 225 horsepower exhaust brake, and ultimately in 2019, the 400 horsepower and 1000 pound feet figures were reached. Its weight went also a bit down by 60 pounds thanks to a CGI steel block. The 6.7 ISB had also an off road sibling, the 6.7 QSB and even served as a basis for a 4-cylinder 4.5 ISB, a successor of the 3.9 4BT. What's important is the fact that the large B-series lives up to the standards of the previous 6BT. Although the 6BT is known to be somewhat simpler in design and a truly reliable workhorse, the 6.7 serves reliably as well. The new emission equipment may cause a bit of a headache, but that is to be expected. Overall, more than 10 million of the Cummins B-series engines were made, and that does say something about it. Its power figures went up by 250% from the original 1989 model year, and the hidden potential in modifications is far beyond that. Did I mention the glorious 6 cylinder sound with turbo noises? <laughs> Please leave your feelings about Cummins and the video topic down below. I love to read your comments and see your feedback about the story. Thank you and cheers!